Hi ladies, it's Dawn and welcome back to my channel. So today we're sitting in a car. It's not even my car. My car is in the shop getting some work done and I have a loaner car until my car is finished just for the just for the day. But I really like this little car. <laughs> really like it a lot. Anyways, um, I'm also sitting way back across from the school where my sons go, um, waiting for them to get out. I have to pick them up. Then I have to take this car back and get my car. And I thought that I would just film a video because I wanted to film a video for you today. And I had so much to do, but I knew I'd have time just kind of to waste while I was out and about. So I thought that I would film from this car. And today's video is going to be a handbag review and a what's in my handbag or kind of handbag clean out. I've got some wonky hair. You know what? I figured out why I like this haircut. This haircut is like um, tousled and you know we talk about my hair every time <laughs> since I got my hair cut. But um, I know why I like it because when I was a little girl my nanny, my, my grandma, she on my dad's side she was so beautiful she had auburn hair much darker than mine but it was very very thick and um she wore it short and kind of like in a style like this and it didn't occur to me until recently that this is kind of how my nanny wore her hair and that i always loved how thick her hair was and this is why I'm loving this hair because it reminds me of my nanny's hair. I just put my finger on it like yesterday. So anyways, um, let's just get started talking about the handbag. So this handbag is not a new handbag to me, nor is it a new style handbag. Rather, it's a classic from Dooney and Burke. It's been around for years and years. You all may have one and I have one too <laughs> in this bag. I'm just gonna show it to you exactly as it is. Um, it is this bag right here. It's the Florentine Satchel in Small. It comes in three sizes, mini, small, and regular. The small is actually medium. The, the regular is probably large. And then the mini is very mini and it's more like a crossbody, but it looks just like this. And this is a crossbody bag as well. It's got the crossbody strap and it is a heavier handbag because it's all leather and hardware. But I love this bag and I can't part with it. I've had mine for about five years and it just gets better and better with age. And I wanted to tell you, first of all, that if you have been wanting a handbag like this and you don't want to pay the price for it, because I think full price, it's like $3.98. I got mine definitely at a discount about five years ago, probably for like $100 off. And I got it at the Outlet Mall. And you can still get this very same bag. This is a natural. This is how it's supposed to look. Like this part kind of creeps down like that. And it's got this detail on both sides. It's the natural leather and it's got green suede on the inside. So no matter what direction you look at the bag, it's a really beautiful bag. And they suggest when you get this bag that if it has any scuffs on it, you don't condition the bag. That's what they say on the website. You just use the oils from your fingers and kind of rub out scuffs and things like that. So I wanted to tell you, if you've been ever wanting a bag like this, but you don't want to pay the full price, you could go into Poshmark or into the outlet mall and you might see them looking like a little bit beat up and scuffed and stuff. But don't let that deter you because you can definitely rub the scuffs out. Like I said, mine is five years old and this is how it looks. Now, I'm not recommending you do this, but this is what I do. So they don't recommend that you treat this bag. It's natural, untreated leather. I always treat my bags that are Florentine leather and even my fry handbags or handbags that are really natural, durable leather. I use either apple conditioner or I use this, like it's an oil that you can use for saddles because this is the same kind of leather that saddles are made of. And so as soon as I get my bag, I 
always condition them first thing. They say there it's not they don't say not to, but they say you don't have to on the website. I do. When you if you do try that the bag will look dark at first and you'll be like, oh no, what did I do? I ruined my bag. I've thought that before, but it soaks in. The leather will just soak up that oil and the bag just gets this beautiful patina over time. It will be a bag that you will have forever. This bag is in my permanent collection. If you've been watching me, you know that I sell handbags and buy new ones. This is a permanent collection. And I'm going to show you what's in it and we're going to organize. If you ever want to see the bags I have in my permanent collection, I'd be happy to show you. Okay, another thing about this bag, two more things. This bag is about the size of a Speedy 30 from Louis Vuitton and it has the strap and it carries very much the same way. It's got the handles. I prefer this to my Speedy 30. I carry it way more and I do have a Speedy 30 because I I like the classicness. I think it's beautiful and classic and sophisticated. So I prefer this to the Louis Vuitton because the Louis Vuitton bags are absolutely everywhere. These are too, but not quite as much. And the quality is even better and it's a fraction of the cost. Okay, so the, the Florentine leather are all like, um, they have this thick suede on the inside, which I love. I love, love, love that. Um, one thing that I thought might be an issue for me with this bag when I first got it was that the opening doesn't open completely. Like, see, that doesn't completely unzip. And so it opens like this. And it, um, I was worried that that might be kind of a pain for me, but it, it has never been an issue. Okay, so now I'm just going to start pulling things out of it. So what I do have in here is my Louis Vuitton wallet or billfold. This is the, um, I don't even remember what it's called, something international. I don't know that they still make this. It's 12 years old, but it's really held up. I got it for my 40th birthday when I got my Speedy 25. And I did do a video on my Speedy 25 and what that holds. I'll link that below. And this is a big old mess. And I'll clean this out later. All my receipts, whoops, yikes. Gotta make sure I get all that because <laughs> this is a rental car and I don't want to, um, I don't want my debit card to be under the seat when I turn it in. I got it. I got my card for the girl who um, cuts my hair. My husband just gave me some gift cards for Starbucks. Um, all my, I've been using my debit card and not using cash because a lot of places don't want you to use cash because it's dirty. And so I have like a lot of bills in here and they're just all sort of like like this and that's like no way to carry your money so I need to I need to organize this and then it has like a little change compartment in here that I keep my change I do have an ink pen that goes in here I need to put it in there my wallet's a mess and that will be a, the next clean out um, and then I also have in here this pochette that came with the never fall and I really like this and I use it as like my cosmetic and essentials case in this bag um, and then you can also take it out if you want and make it like into a wristlet. Um, I don't really do that. And this is what I'm using for like my makeup pouch right now. And I have my Burt's Bees um, mattifying powder. I have my Mineral Fusion brush on sunblock. I love this for my hands and reapplying sunblock during the day if I need to. I have a Lore, uh, Revlon photo ready insta fix foundation stick so um you can touch up like any pimples i had to have like um i always get like botox right here i've told you before that's like the only place i do it and i had gone and got my botox touched up about 10 days ago and so i put this in here because they always clean off the area and then you've got little pin pricks so i touch that up so my Botox is fresh until the end of January. And I have a Becca lipstick, and this is a favorite of mine. I believe the color is Dune. That's what I have on today. And my daughter got this for me for my birthday last December. It's been almost a year, and I hardly use it. 
I, because it's at my vanity and I put it on in the morning because I love it. And then I don't put it in my purse and use it up. So I'm using this up. This is like my everyday lipstick. <laughs> as long as I have a warm makeup look on, this is what I'm using. And today I have um, warm makeup on. So I'm using that and I will repurchase it. But I, I, you know, you can't have things sitting around forever. You need to use them. Um, I have also a neutral MAC lipstick and I believe this is in patisserie and it's more of a pinky nude. So in case I have cooler makeup on, this is the lipstick that I'm using. So they're staying in my purse and I'm using both of those up. I have my Sundari Neem Oil, and this is for my cuticles and my hands. Um, it's a dry oil. It's not a greasy oil, and it soaks right in and keeps your hands really conditioned. It's really nice for your cuticles, and I really like this oil, so I always purchase it off of Amazon. I'll link it, and um, it, it's good for your hands. It's also good to put under your lotion, too. It's just a little bit more conditioning. And then I do have a couple. There's like a little pocket in here. And I have to use this. I think it's almost time. 10 24 to 11 one $30 super cash at Old Navy. I have another one at home I need to add to this so I can go to Old Navy because I've got $60 of super cash. Subway gift card. And um, that's it. That's all I have in here. It will certainly hold a lot more a disposable mask. I've been using, I have one really nice mask that I got when we went to Door County this summer. It's green and has polka dots. And um, I find that I don't grab that one as often because I have to wash it. So I like the disposable ones because I can just toss them out and get a fresh one um, each day. Um, I have my marshmallow pumpkin latte hand sanitizer and I have a gold case and a black one and I was using a black tote before I switched into this bag so I had this hooked into my bag but it doesn't match this one I have to switch the little plastic thing to the gold one to use with this purse so I have this just thrown inside my bag I'm just going to go ahead and put it in here while I'm cleaning out and keep things together because if that opened up in my bag I wouldn't want that to happen tissues always have tissues and I'm just gonna go ahead and put those in my little essential case that's what I mean it needs to be cleaned out because um, I get things out and then I just throw them right back in and I haven't been doing what the life life life-changing magic of tidying up suggests you do I started doing the life-changing the condo method of cleaning or keeping organized and for that um, for purses, they suggest that you bring your purse in every single day, set it in one place and have like a little tray next to it. Take everything out, all your contents, and then put in only what you need. I did that for a very long time and I actually developed a good habit and then I fell off the wagon <laughs> like we do. Um, I have a little notepad because um, I like to write notes because I remember things better when I actually write them down. If I type it into my iPhone notes, it doesn't have the same effect. It's weird. If I type a message to myself in my iPhone notes, in my mind, I sometimes think I've already done it. It's weird. It's like when I type it in, like go pick up cat food, then it's sort of in my mind, I say to myself, I've already picked up cat food. It's weird. But if I write it down, I'll remember. It's just the physical act of writing it down and checking it off. Um, even if I go into my notes and check it off or delete it, I still kind of think I've done it. It's the strangest thing. Do you have that happen to you? Okay, in this inside zip pocket, I'm cleaning this out now. This big, it goes the length of the bag. This bag has some really nice pockets. I'm not going to give you a tour of it, but there's like four pockets in here and they're all really nice and deep and it's really nice to keep organized and the interior of the bag is red which I like because if the interior is dark it's like a black hole and you can't find things as easily so I really like that it's red another great thing about this bag a Portillo's gift card if you live in the Midwest or the Chicagoland area Portillo's is like a very famous hot dog restaurant it's like it's kind of, it's fast food, but it's like a step nicer than that. It's still fast food, but my my sons and I and my husband love it. I'm hooked on their protein bowls, which is either like Italian sausage and um, Italian beef in a bowl with 
like gravy, like the gravy that comes with Italian beef. It's like clear broth. Um, cheese and peppers, like sweet peppers. And you can also order a side of hot peppers and put it on there. And I really like to eat that sometimes. It's really satisfying and it's low carb. You know, you're just eating meat and cheese. So on days where I have been like eating too many carbs or sugar, I'll go on a day where I'm just eating like a lot of salads and like a protein bowl. And it really helps me take weight off if I do that for a couple of days. Okay, these need to come out of my purse. This is the Clinique Black Honey. If you have any points at Sephora, you can use 100 points to get this. It looks dark, but it's clear, it's sheer, and it's beautiful. Many of you probably know about the Black Honey. It's definitely worth the 100 points if you've got them at Sephora. I think I'll leave this in here too. So I've got my warm lipstick i've got my pink lipstick and that's like a balm that just goes with everything it's got like a dark um hue to it i've done a black honey a whole black honey look i should redo that video because i've aged my hair shorter if you want me to redo the black honey look from clinique let me know i've got a little hand lotion from la Occitane. i like how small this is i don't like carrying a whole big thing of hand a lotion in my purse. Gosh, I'm really filling this guy up all of a sudden. And then I have a fragrance from Clean. I was just telling one of you this in the comments of a video. You said that you liked Clean. And um, I said, oh, I carry that in my purse. And this one's Rain. This is the Reserve Blend from Clean. It's a clean fragrance company. And this has the Rain scent. And it smells like just very, very soft and fresh. It's beautiful outdoorsy, crisp, clean. Love it. Rain. And it's tiny. I like to carry tiny things in my purse. This is coming out. This is a favorite lipstick of mine from e.l.f. and it's very similar to the one that I have on from um, Becca. It looks a lot like the Dune. See? And this is called, this was like this a couple of dollars and this color is Nectar. And I did use this in my video in my um, e.l.f. video that I just did. So let's compare. The nectar's a little bit darker, but definitely the same tone. I'm keeping the Becca in here. This is a new lipstick, so I'm gonna use this one on my vanity to start my day. So it won't, it won't get used to that often. And I'll keep the Becca in my purse for freshening it up. So this is gonna come out. So I have to take that out and put it on the side here. All right, now we're talking. I can barely get this thing zipped now. It was it was pretty empty before, but now I threw everything in there and it's like bulging. So um, then I have my key for my car. I'm going to pick up my car later. I've got a pair of earrings in here. Okay, I got these from a store in Etsy. You guys ask me about these kinds of earrings all the time that I wear. I love them. But the other day I had them on and my husband noticed that I had a rash on both sides of my neck. And I wasn't sure if it was from this because I also had it here too and the earrings don't touch there. So I took them out just to kind of monitor that and I haven't put them back in. I need to take them out of my purse and not leave them in my purse. So those are going to go in the house and get put away. I hope it's not those earrings because I really love them. I don't think it is. It was the weirdest thing. It was like a prickly little rash with teeny little whiteheads on it. It was gross. It was here and here. Too. I think it was some skincare that I've been using. Um, I've been toying around with a lot of different vitamin C's. I recently told you, and I think it's one of the vitamin C's, not the Skin Diva. That one I know is fine. It's strong, but it's fine. But I think it could have been like one of the other. I have the Peter Thomas Roth sample and the Ola Hendrickson like water cream vitamin C, and it might be one of those. I'll let you know when I get to the bottom of it my glasses. Can't go anywhere without my glasses. And I have the blue ones. Everybody likes these from Peepers. Another pair of glasses that can go into the house. Bath and Body Works. I have to go use this coupon. I'm going to use this other pair of glasses. And this is for buy, like, treat yourself now and treat yourself later. So it's like, use now, use later. And the first one's start now until November 1st for full-size body care item, then 20% off my entire purchase. 
and then also this and this. I was kind of hoping that there was a candle on here, but I just got some candles at TJ Maxx. They finally got their jarred candles back in, the village candle, and sometimes they have Yankee candle. And I got like pumpkin maple pancakes or something. I'm so happy. I love those fall fragrances. Um, I treat candles in the fall like a necessity. Like if I have a coupon for a candle or go to TJ Maxx and find them for $9.99, I do load up because I love to burn candles. They really help my mood in the cooler months when I'm inside. Um, I do what I think the Scandinavian and Swedish people call um, huga, and that is like embracing the the cold by making life very enjoyable and peaceful. I made a video, a huga video years ago. I should do another one. Do you guys know what huga is? Let me know if you've ever heard that word before. So this bag's a little heavy and I don't want to put my Dooney, um accessories in here, even my wallets, because they're all heavy. This is light. This is a very light wallet, and this is a very light cosmetics case on its own. You know, it's heavy because of the stuff that's in it, not because of the case itself. So that's why I'm carrying this. Otherwise, I'd be carrying like my Dooney accessories. They're all really good leather, but there, there's some heft to them. So when I carry like my long chomp la pliage nylon totes that I love, 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 they're light as a feather. I can carry heavier accessories. So that's when I use like my good Dooney. If you want good wallets, things for your keys, coin cases, um, makeup cases, go to the Dooney outlet mall or go to I Love Dooney online or the Dooney and Burke website or Macy's and look for sales because you can find amazing sales and I'm telling you this stuff lasts way better than Louis Vuitton stuff and when I was in my late 30s early 40s a lot of ladies and friends were carrying around a lot of um, Louis Vuitton and Burberry stuff and I was covetous I really wanted it I was a mom of four kids and back then it like influenced me and I started like asking for that kind of stuff for my birthday um, saving I actually figured really Really taught myself how to buy them pre-loved. I could make a video on that too. I'm like coming up with lots of video ideas while I'm talking to you. Um, but I did that and I don't carry them as much as I carry my my Doonies and my coach, my good coach, you know, because they're such good. Brahmin is another brand that you would really love. Okay, the last thing in my bag is because of um, COVID-19 and everything going on. Our state, in two days, we're shutting down all restaurants again for two weeks. So no indoor dining or anything, which is fine. But um, for a while, we could. <laughs> we could go in. And I carried all my own condiments. Salt, pepper, sugar packets, Splenda, you name it. It's in here um, because I didn't want to have to bother the wait staff to go get that stuff for me because I know they try to keep all that clean. So I would just bring my own and it, we wouldn't have to ask them. And then we had everything we needed. So I still have all that in there. And um, just real quick. I always keep the tags and receipts, like little little packets of, about each bag inside the pocket in the bag. So that way, if I want to remember when I purchased it, how much I paid for it, um, or if I do decide to sell the bag, I have all that information inside my bag. And so this is what it looks like on the inside. I still have the key in there in the condiment packet, but it's red and it, like I said, the suede. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna clean this out later today. I don't wanna deal with that right now. And I've got my cosmetics pal, my coupon. I've got my Old Navy coupon in here, so I have to use those before they expire. Glasses, face mask, and then the things that I'm taking out, my lipstick, my glasses, my earrings. Anyway, that's what's inside my permanent handbag collection bag my one of my most loved handbags my Juni and Burke Florentine bag um, I thought it would be a good time to share this bag because Christmas is coming and um, it's a good time to ask for a really nice handbag that you'll have for years and years and like I said mine is five years old and there's no wear and tear so anyway I hope you enjoyed this video I'm still waiting for my sons for like another 10 minutes so I've got my 
Duncan iced cold brew with one pump of vanilla swirl and um, I'm gonna enjoy this. So I hope that you liked this video. It's a different change of scenery. And the good thing is my lighting is all natural. I'm filming on my iPhone. That's the other thing. My iPhone would go in that bag if I weren't using it and it would go in a slip pocket in the bag. Everything fits. So I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Thank you for spending some time with me.